that down there is Haneda Airport at around 7.45 in the morning on a weekday. It's an orderly place. It's a beautiful place. This is the International Departures Hall. And I'm John. <laughs> this is only Japan Go. I'm live right now in, in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a little bit about uh, Haneda Airport's in, the international, the international departure terminal. Uh, I, I've shown you Narita, I've shown you Haneda, I've shown you Haneda's domestic. I haven't shown you Haneda's international yet, and I'm sure I'm going to show you again at another time. But I thought I'd run through this place because it is brand new and it's really cool. And if you want, you can become a construction worker and you can yell out, We are Tokyo until the cops come. <laughs> or you could just be staff. But I am leaving on a flight right here at 9 a.m. for Seoul. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. I'm going to Korea for a YouTube summit. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I just literally got back from Singapore. And now I'm on another flight 12, less than 12 hours later to go towards Korea. It's, it's kind of crazy. Right in front of us, after you've checked in and you have a little bit of time, I highly recommend that you go up to the second floor and check out the... Uh, uh, food shopping area which is so cool they they've really done a great job with this I, I love the high ceilings here it's, it's it's all brand new I think it opened up about two years ago you have um, wow like a little cafe area with with red umbrellas on the right side you have kitty chan luxury goods <laughs> well It's very nice. And you can try like green tea. You can try, oh, that's by Ituen. Ituen is a Japanese tea company. So the Japanese tea company has set up this like really beautiful Kyoto looking booth in here. Complete with green tea ice cream and matcha for your departure to destination out there. There you go, Ituen. Up here you have some wind chimes and some flowers. Wow, it's, it really is gorgeous. It just that, that red is so striking and does such a great job um, with the bluish tinted windows around this place. So here you go. You'll be down there, you'll check in, and then come up the escalators, and there you are. Lots of shops. I even think there's a, there's a couple of ramen places in here. So we're just going to do a quick uh, walk around. I actually got to get to my flight in about 15 minutes, but that does, that's not going to stop us. I'm going to turn now this wide angle lens the other way, and I'm going to let you guys experience this in glorious wide angle as I walk through. Again, you can go through the, the central corridor, which has some shops, or you can go this way. And this way is just really cool. Check it out. It's like going back in time to the Edo period. Oh, this is so cool. Check that out, that's just so beautiful. This is an udon restaurant. It's a famous chain. It says udon up here. Wow. It's pretty quiet in the morning. Not a lot of people are eating. Usually, I'd say in about two hours, this place is gonna be packed. But right now we have it to ourselves. Beautiful restaurant. This is a uh, tonkatsu restaurant, I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's got cheese inside of it. Check it out. This place looks pretty fun. Kabuki style. Looks like a kabuki theater. That's really cool. 
this this storefront is is representative. Imagine if this was a village, this would be a kabuki theater. And they have shops inside of there. On the left here, in the center of it all, is this uh, kind of stage. And I always thought Kanai would, would, would do great dancing here. And that's where you would come up on, on the escalators. I'm going to take you up here, up on the platform. They have on the uh, fifth floor, like a pop town observation deck. Let's take a look at the observation deck and make our way back. I'll show you the rest of the shopping area and then I gotta make my way to the flight. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so there's a, uh, uh, they call it the hot zone and there's more shops in here. All of it is closed. There's also kind of a sleeping area for those of you who have a layover. Might be a secret area that you now discovered. Oh, flight's taken off. That could be me in, 30 mi in uh, two hours. My flight's leaving at 9 a.m. Oh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful morning. I'm still sleepy from the last flight. But that's not gonna stop me from singing a song to make all my viewers go away. All right, check it out. So we got down there um, a lot of JAL flights going to destinations unknown. I'm not flying JAL, I'm flying Asiana, which is a Korean carrier, which has a pretty good reputation. On, here, on the side here, I've been many times to come to film at, at Tokyo, Tokyo airports and you always want to get the sign in. It says Tokyo International Airport up at the observation deck. It's kind of neat to have a photo here if you have time. Um, you know, after you've, you've arrived to Japan because if you depart, you're probably going to be too tired, you just want to get home. When you arrive, I always like to stop off at airports, the observation deck, just check it out even if it's for a couple of minutes. But don't even try to fly your drone here. I don't need, I guess they've, they've had people crazy enough to do that. You see that? It's a no drone zone. <laughs> so don't even try. I was hoping we get a chance to see at least one, one plane take off. This is a very busy airport. Um, it's become busier over the years because of just all of the traffic coming into Japan from abroad. Uh, yeah, I don't see any flights leaving. The observation deck's pretty nice. Uh, this Haneda in it itself is actually kind of, in, I believe it's an, it's an island. Um, I was on an NHK shoot about five years ago with a fisherman who fished anago. Anago is an eel, it's a freshwater eel. And the best place in Japan to fish freshwater eel is right off of the corner of Haneda Airport. And you can see the stilts um, propping up the runway. And he had, he had Anago fish traps all around there. So Haneda Airport is where the mouth of the Tamagawa River comes out, which is a river that flows, uh, I believe, all the way from Nagano with, with fresh water down into the ocean. So the Anago love to hang out right at the, at the banks, the delta of that, right on, on the corner of the Anago. This is more information that you need, but Haneda is famous for having really good Anago, really good eel. All right, we're going back inside. Just some of the useless information that I know in my head that could be useful to somebody else. So Kanai, my wife, she, uh, she's not making this one. This is strictly for work. This is a, a YouTube uh, event. Is she waving at me or some kid? This looks pretty cool. There's actually a cool zone. So we saw the hot zone before. This is a cool zone. It's, it's cool because it's got like, oh wow, check that out. So there's like a Don Quixote here? Oh, it's closed. Wow, so there's, there's a Don Quixote in the airport, but it's closed. All right, this is kind of cool. This is like a Pokemon stand of some kind of machine. I guess you can put in up to 10,000 yen and get, oh, this is like gifts. All right, so you can get 
um, Pokemon Captain, air, airline captains. And if you touch it, it'll show you what it looks like. Let's see. Oh, check it out. That's um, $15. This is a little, little Pikachu, and he's $13. Um, oh, wow. And they got little keychain ones for 1,000 yen. Look at that. A little Pikachu captain. And this is, I guess these are mystery. <laughs> they don't even come up. That's pretty cool. So this is this is on the second floor of the uh, departure, on the fifth floor, but above this escalators up at the departure. So we're gonna go down now. It is pretty cool. It's it's fun up here. I mean, granted, it's it's, it's not open, but this is the observation con observation deck, and we're gonna make our way down down to uh, down to the fourth floor. And you can see once again uh, just how how uh, beautiful it is, looking like a village. Like this is a reason to come early to Haneda. I'm telling you, it's just such a beautiful airport. I don't. It, Ch Changi is a very nice airport in Singapore. It's a little retro, but it's got everything there. Haneda is much smaller, much more compact, and this is the international, not the domestics terminal. This is just the international one, which is a completely different building. Um, so this is where we came. We walked through there about four or five minutes ago, and now we're gonna go finish this up going the other way. So you get a chance to see what kind of shops are here. There's an elevator that comes up here. You don't have to take the escalator. You got a pizzeria in the style of old Edo period, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I ate ramen here with Kanai. Um, a, wow, when we went to America a couple of years ago. I'm like, it's like popping in my mind now. When they first opened this, we, I remember we were walking around here. Wow, there's some Wagyu. Looks like that's a pretty good looking steakhouse. We walked, we got some ramen right here. And uh, I remember it was really good. It was like our goodbye ramen from Japan when we went to America. Uh, this ramen is 1,300 yen. This is your goodbye ramen from Japan. You have miso, you have tonkotsu, you have uh, really reasonably priced. Oh, this is the one I got last year, spicy tonkotsu ramen. It's so good, you gotta get that. And then if you, if you have some spare change, get rid of it, get some edamame or some gyoza for the trip home. Everything is purchased from a vending machine, you see there? And the shop is pretty cool. You, there's some space for luggage. There's not a lot of luggage space, but um, people do go in there with the luggage. Uh, wait in line until our staff will direct you to the ticket machine. So if you're not sure what to do, the staff is pretty friendly and they'll help you. Um, we are not responsible for baggage, so if you do come with big baggage, they'll do their best, but it's harder. It's harder if you got big bags and you want to go and eat there. All right, there you have it. We've come full circle. There's a sushi restaurant as well, right there in the corner. And then, uh, yeah, a Starbucks. Uh, no, that's not a Starbucks, that's another cafe. And then you have, uh, this is what you see when you come up the escalator. Boom. We're gonna go down and I'm gonna say goodbye to you down in the departures terminal before I go in through security. They said strictly I gotta be in there at 8.30, so I got 30 minutes. It is a really beautiful airport. I guess it's because it's new. I wonder what it's gonna look like in 20 years, huh? Um, there's loads down here, ATM machines, duty-free shops, um, Places if you want to get earplugs or masks uh, for to keep the light out. There's also places to get Kit Kats if you want them in here. But look, you can get a lot of stuff inside after you've checked in, after you've gone through security and uh, passport control. You can also get a lot of these things on the other side. But for little items like this, sorry, for little items like this, you're gonna want to get that here, like. Um, medicines and little aspirins and things like that. Get them at the convenience store. Uh, there's a convenience store in Haneda or get them here inside of the terminal before you check in. 
I'm gonna go now into the departures area. And this is where I say goodbye. This airport is the future because it's Haneda. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. This is just a short live stream. I'll see you in Korea. There's gonna be some really amazing YouTubers, some really, some of the world's biggest YouTubers from the Asia Pacific region. And it's gonna be pretty cool to get a chance to meet them. Um, I know Simon and Martina are going and I don't know anybody else who's going. But it's gonna be pretty interesting to meet uh, people from all over the world coming uh, for this summit. And uh, I, I have no expectations. I'm just going to see what happens. And if, if there's a chance to do some live streaming or, or to film some um, like, other YouTubers' opinions about Japan that don't live in Japan, that'd be pretty cool. I might make a main, main channel episode out of this. I brought my camera equipment just in case. Uh, so, yeah, wherever you are in the world, have a great day, great night. I'm gonna get, get, to, get to Korea. Um, you can leave in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this uh, uh, Haneda Airport. How does it compare with Changi? Uh, if you want, leave, a, leave me a like if you like this kind of content. I just kind of push the live stream button and go. This is separate from my main channel, so click the like button. There's 400 of you watching right now, and uh, we can definitely use some more, some more love in here. And if, if you do um, want to leave a comment, I will answer them usually within one day if, if it's something. And I will pin the best comment about your experience at Haneda to the top of this live stream. Tell me your experience at Haneda's International Terminal, because that kind of comment really helps the other people that are in watching this and interested in learning about this airport. All right, you guys stay safe out there too. Thanks JPSL and uh, have a great trip, me and you, wherever you're going. Are you going anywhere? I am. I'm going to Gimpo, Korea. That's the name of the airport in Seoul. See everybody.